Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. 4.2 solving systems by substitution. All right, so we did solving systems by graphing. So we understand what a system of equations is, two or more equations with the same variables, meaning the same things. Um, but we only have so seen how we graph them to solve. We looked at the intersection of the two lines. Today we're going to be doing a different method, which is substitution. And the next time we're going to do another method. Um, but these different methods all do the same thing. We're still looking for that one coordinate point. Um, they just, uh, sometimes one method is easier than another, depending on your situation. So how do we solve a system by substitution? The first thing you do uh, is solve one equation for a single variable. And that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to say y equals 4 or x equals 3. It could mean that you're looking at something like y equals um, 4x. But that would be solving an equation for one variable. So you have one variable by itself and it equals um, something else, regardless if that something else is messy or if it's a single number. Once you have that, the second thing to do is to substitute. the whatever expression that you've just made, substitute your new expression into the second equation. Cool. Then solve for one variable. The third step is to take your new value and plug it back in to your original equation. Now, all of that probably makes zero sense if you don't know and you haven't done substitution before. So look back on these directions after we've actually gone through the, uh, ex the example and then hopefully uh, that'll be a little bit more clear. So let's see how these directions actually play into a, a, a real example. y equals 2x minus 4 and 7x minus 2y equals 5. So one right here is written in slope intercept form and the other right here is written in standard form. Now what's interesting here is when I go to solve this by substitution, my first step says solve one equation for one single variable. So it should say something like y or x equals and then other stuff. And it just so happens that this equation already looks like that. So I don't even need to solve it. It already says y equals 2x minus 4. So step one is done. The next step tells me substitute this expression into the second equation. Okay, so this is where it can get a little bit tricky. I have my second equation, 7x minus 2y equals 5. I'm going to substitute the first equation, where I have my variable separated, into my second equation. Now, where do I even begin? What do I even think? Where do I have to put it? Well, 7x minus 2. And what does my first equation say? It says that y equals something. So in the place of y, I'm going to fill in what the first equation says that y is equal to. Because if the two things are equal, y and 2x minus 4, I should be able to interchange them without changing anything. So instead of a y, I'm going to put 2x minus 4. So now I've substituted, and this equation still equals 5. So the only difference from here to here is the substitution of y. Cool. Now, I have a little semicolon here, and it says solve. I have one equation with one variable. It's simply a matter of combining like terms and solving the equation. OK. I'm going to distribute first. So I'll bring down the 7x. Negative 2 times 2x, negative 4x. Negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8. 
equals 5. Combine like terms, 7x minus 4x is 3x plus 8 equals 5. Subtract 8. 3x equals negative 3. And divide by 3 finally to get x equals negative 1. Awesome. Step 2, done. Now I take my value and I plug it back into the original equation. Right? All I have right here is x. What is the solution to a system of equations? It's an xy coordinate point. So just the fact that I have x doesn't really mean anything yet. I still need the y coordinate. So I can plug it back in. Now my question is, which one do I plug it into? And the truth is, either one will work. I'm going to choose the easier one. The easier one here is the one that says y equals something. How do I know that? Because y is by itself. So that means that y equals, actually I'll go back to black, y equals 2, and in place of x, I'm going to put my value of x, negative 1, minus 4. 2 times negative 1 is going to be negative 2, minus 4, we bring that down. So y equals negative 2 minus 4, y equals negative 6. Now, step 3 is done. So let's recap. My first step was to solve the first equation for one variable. And that was done for me, so I didn't even need to do it. The second step was to substitute the new expression into the second and then solve. So starting right here, I substituted it, and then all down here, I solved, and I got that single first variable x. Now, once I solved it, my third step says to take that value and plug it back into the equation. That's up here. Plugged it back in and I got my y. So my full solution here is the xy coordinate point, negative 1, comma, negative 6. Beautiful. Alrighty, and that's it for solving by substitution. Just make sure you follow these uh, directions. Make sure you write down any questions that you have and uh, try the assigned problems. And I will see you guys in class. Good luck. I know you're going to be great.